My friend's bloggers continue to delight me, and you with very interesting cars. This device looks like an ordinary 40 model, but it has one peculiarity. This car was produced in the early years of the release of Moskvich. How is she different from the rest of the Moskviches? You will find out about this very soon. Where do we start? Since the Moskvich 2140 is a modernization of the Moskvich 412, which was the next after the 408, why did the plant decide to make a restyling of the old model and did not release a promising, almost ready-made new car? The reason is simple, it's money. It was much cheaper to remake an old model than to create a new one. But someone can say, the appearance is new, but the content is old, blah blah blah. But it's not. Improvement of the 412 and the introduction of new elements occurred constantly, there were also intermediate models. But this apparatus, 2140, is a complete composition. This model took the main reliable basis from its predecessor. The engineers decided to strengthen the body, and passive safety was also improved. Factory designers took into account European requirements and changed the appearance of the car, bringing it in line with fashion trends. Even foreign experts were asked for help, but in this case, the scenario is classic. They paid the experts, listened to them, laughed and did what they ourselves wanted. Why did they laugh? Because the people were so capricious. Here's what I'll say. Appearance has changed, or rather the perception of the car. The lines of the body finally seem to have merged into one. According to the requirements of European security, door handles seem to drown in the doors. They also made new fenders, hood and trunk. Moreover, the Model 2140 was tested for safety in France. And it received a corresponding sign on the right side of the plate under the hood, which meant compliance with European standards. Well, there is an element in this car that was made to last for centuries, something that is talked about so much. What am I talking about? How is this different from the 412 model? Big expansion tank. It already needs to be filled with high-quality coolant. Let's talk about the engine. Gasoline, inline, for cylinder, 0.4 gallon, maximum power of 75 horsepower at 5,800 rpm. Maximum torque 80 lbf Ford at 3,400 to 3,800 rpm. V-shaped arrangement of valves, and their drive by rocker arms. Another feature is cast iron sleeves in an aluminum block. Apparently, at that time they did not like shiny things. Maybe that's why the grille is plastic. Move on. Chrome trim all around. The emblem is in the form of a pentagon and on it are ruby stars. Later, letters appeared on it. The bumper, though chrome-plated, but the lining is already soft, safety. This is how it was done in Europe. It is generally impossible to recognize the 412 model from behind. This is due to the new taillights. Everything that was at that time is integrated into them. You can say, the fuel tank in the middle is convenient, it's cool. Of course it's cool, until the truck drives into the bumper. Let's take a look at the trunk. Its volume is 12 cubic feet, as it was. But I still don't understand one thing. Why did the spare tire remain lying around in it? Although, in our time it does not matter anymore.
Everything is trimmed with plastic, even very neatly. By the way, pay attention to these deflectors, which are designed to kind of blow on the rear window, so that it does not sweat. But they have nothing to do with the stove and heater. The faster you drive, the more air gets in here, and then it gets on the glass. And if, for example, it is minus 22 degrees outside? What then? I want to show you one more interesting detail. This is a black stripe around the rear lighting, which is bordered by chrome. But the most noticeable inscription here is the numbers 1500, the same as on the doors. What were they replaced with later? Write in the comments. Now about ventilation. The grills were placed a little lower, on the wings of the car, so. Do you see the interior color? It's brown. The lower part of the doors, a torpedo, is here too, and even here it is brown, the interior is all in it. Now the seats, as you can see, they are textureless. Head restraints of this type appeared a bit later. Please note that they are textured, you can feel them by touch. This car was produced only a few months, and I don't know anything more about it. The salon has also been transformed compared to its predecessor. They installed a new dashboard and safety plastic, the steering column folds on impact. Nice devices that are easy to navigate. The only thing missing is a tachometer. There is one point that I have to say about the rear row of seats. Due to some changes in the design of the car, the sofa has become wider, and this is undeniable. Frankly, this car is more suitable for fragile girls. How difficult it is to deal with the handles. But it's a pleasure to ride. Especially when compared to older models. For example, there is a special shelf for folding nuts and dust. It wasn't in the previous model. I would like to note that there are no changes in the chassis. Gears were phosphate in the reducer and other complex processes began to be done later. And in this car, everything was done the same way as in older models. The front is in pushrod actuated suspension, and the rear is spring. At that time it looked like a classic. New headrests are felt. The seats have also changed. There is even lateral support, but it is not felt at all. The designers realized a very important thing. The era of the gnomes is leaving. Model 2140 is designed for tall people, because the length of the seat has increased significantly. Most likely, people with short stature will be uncomfortable here, and it suits me perfectly. In terms of driving performance, the Moskvich 2140 is good, not great, just good, reliable, predictable, confidently accelerates. With a full load of 880 pounds, he moved very confidently for his time. At control measurements, it accelerated to 50 miles per hour in 11.8 seconds, and to 60 in 18 seconds. European cars, even with stronger engines, did not always do it faster. The steering wheel turns quite softly. By the way, the rim is smaller than the 412 had. But signaling with your fingers will not work here. You need to apply the strength of the entire palm. Therefore, its previous owner came up with such a device. And anyway, it's crowded in Moskvich. On the other hand, when compared with the third model. Here, it seems to be quieter. And more comfortable. But this is just my personal opinion. But the car is Soviet, so we drive and don't complain. Agreed? The fourth generation of Mokvichs began to be designed already in 1971, and production was launched at the Likachev Moscow plant in 1976 and produced until 1988. This particular car was manufactured in 1976. 
and there are new brakes, front disc and rear drum. They are double-sided. There are two cylinders on the front calipers, a large one and a small one. The small one is integrated into one circuit with the rear brakes. It's the first circuit. And the second circuit is only the front cylinders. That is why if one circuit suddenly breaks, then the efficiency of the brakes will be 60%, so there won't be an accident. The maximum speed on the same control measurements reached 88.5 miles per hour, but I do not recommend driving more than 68 on it. At this speed and fuel consumption is acceptable. Let's move on. The Stoven Mosbich can warm up not only the arms and legs, but the whole soul. Now I'll tell you what I didn't like. Salon mirror. In my opinion, it is disgusting and not at all convenient. Perhaps they tried to make it unusual. In addition, today I got a car with a very strange gearbox. In order to find a neutral gear, you need to feel the box with all your heart. Feel it with your whole body. Oh, this sound. And these sensations. It's going well. Out of habit, I want to switch to fifth gear, but it didn't exist then. Yes, it feels like this gearbox is still from the old 408 model. The car drives the way the device with the ancient box should drive. But in this case, neither your nor my opinion matters. Do you know why? The times were different then. Mosvich was reliable and available. In order to repair it, only a standard set of tools and skillful hands were needed. And this theory is perfectly proved by the still existing Mosviches who have passed through dozens of dusty garages and auto mechanics. Such cars serve for decades and show that the most unpredictable part in them is the driver. I don't want to talk about the nomenclatura, politics and such. The main thing remains there was a Moskvich, but today he is gone. And our hunt goes on. I will share with you a secret life hack from my blogger friends. At that time, only selected motorists had fake discs. So, to make them look better, you just need to paint the disc itself from the inside with black paint. Then the visibility of light alloy wheels will be created. 